hello everyone welcome to the channel this is a quick video to show you how you can upgrade and downgrade vs code in ubuntu linux or any other linux plus also you can use the similar instructions on mac or on windows operating system so as you can see that i'm already logged into my system and vs code is right now open in order to check the existing version let's go to help on the top menu and then click on about here and you can see that my existing version is 1.89.1 next up let's go to this website which is code.visualstudio.com slash updates and i will drop the link to it in videos description and you can see that the existing latest version is 1.94 which is september 2024 and we are right now in october 2024 <clears throat> so if you want to check when the 1.89 was released, you can simply click on any of the month from the left and you see that it was released in April 2024. So my existing version is at least six months old or around uh, five releases old. So I need to upgrade it to the latest version, which is 1.94. And for that, just look at this line which says download and you can see it gives you the downloads for windows for mac for apple silicon for dpn which is ubuntu and for red hat enabled one centos rpm and even arm which is another architecture and even in the snap format which is another package manager so as i am on ubuntu 22.04 so i'm going to right click on dpn and then save link as if you're running windows or any other operating system just download that file accordingly by right clicking on it so i'm just saving it in my existing directory let's click on the browser and it's a very very small size around 98 mb of file so let me go to my terminal and you can see that i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and this um, vm has been sponsored by our very good friends at mass compute if you're looking to rent a gpu by the way on good prices i would highly suggest check their website out i will drop the link to them with a coupon code of 50 percent discount in video's description okay so let's go back to our terminal now if i do ls ltr here you will see that i have this code file which we already have downloaded let's clear it and now in order to install it all you need to do sudo because i'm not root at the moment and run this dp dpkg dash i and then code and run it it is going to unpack it and you see that it is unpacking this latest version over our existing 1.89.1 how good is that and similarly in the windows when you will run that exe it is going to overwrite it so it is setting it up the new version which is 1.94.2 and it is just processing some triggers fixing some links and that, that's all done now let's open our vs code and then click on ok i think we might have to restart it but let's check it out yep so just close this one and then open it again and then click on help about and you can see that now our uh, vs code has been upgraded so that is all there is to it now if you want to downgrade it back to some other version so maybe let's go <clears throat> and i will close this vs code so if you go back to that website for example you just want to go back to the august one because there are some features or maybe there are some bugs in this september 2024 so you see again the same download one and the version is 1.93 again right click on this dub save link as and download this file 1.93 again let's click on it it is again the similar size file and that is downloaded let's go back to the terminal let me clear the screen if you do ls ltr you will see now two files so we want the second file for that you simply do sudo dpkg dash i code 1.93 this time press tab and it will auto complete and then it is telling you that it is downgrading code from this to this and all it is doing it is overwriting this over the newest version so let's wait for it to finish while it happens let me introduce you to the sponsors of this video which are agent ql agent ql is a 
query language for extracting data from any web page quite quickly easily and at scale and i will also drop the link to them in video's description so do check them out okay so let's go back here and it is asking me the installer would like to add this 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 i'll just say just to press enter here does that matter really and that is all done and now let's open our vs code let's wait for it click on help and then about and you will see that now we have downgraded to 1.93.1 .1. click on ok also if you want to quickly check what is if there are any updates available or not just click on check for updates and it is going to check for updates for you and then if there is any update it is going to tell you that you can download the available update so when you click on it it is going to take you here and this is the latest debian version you can also check it out from here and you see that it has now started downloading that 1.94.2 already which we already have it on our local system so for example if i take you to the terminal click the screen we'll have three files and this is the last file is the one which it downloaded because we already have it in our system so it has just renamed it like this now if you want to again upgrade it so just do dpkg dash i code and then i just want to upgrade it back okay so what happened there okay because i didn't give it the extension now much better so you see all it is doing it is simply overwriting this on top of this and that is all there is to it and it is just fixing some of the hyperlinks that's pretty much it so let's wait for it to finish and then we will relaunch our vs code maybe i'll just close this one from here okay let's clear it and then let's relaunch our vs code go to help and then you can just click on about we are at the latest version and if you click on check for updates now it says there are currently no updates available you are already on the latest and greatest version so this is how easy it is and towards the end i also wanted to share with you this ai hacktuber from mast compute if you're looking to win hundred dollars in free gpu credit just generate any text image or both or video with your ai models and then submit it to this ai hacktuber i will be one of the judges in this one and i'm more than sure not only you stand a good chance to win this hundred dollars in free gpu you will also learn a lot so feel free to submit your entries and you don't have to pay any fee or anything like that it's all free so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it and it was useful if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching